are you up for a nice simple easy project to make stay tuned hi everyone welcome back uh, so like i said this will be nice easy project to make i think it's actually for a beginners as well because there is not much to it and you can practice all different cuts and um, techniques and so on so what i have here is piece of oak it's 50 mil thick by 180 mil diameter and uh, here i have i ordered this from steiner company they are sponsors of my work and my my videos however i did pay with a discount uh, for this this is thermometer and i have some other stuff as well for um, future videos as well so you'll see uh, there's not much to it and i'll just rearrange the camera and uh, we'll set off so to show you this insert uh, this one is let's see the outside diameter that's 90 mil outside diameter and uh, now the inside here with this ring you can remove this plastic and just have it nice and smooth plastic but this will grip it just ever so slightly better uh, this one is 63 mil and a little extra uh, now right from the box i don't like this tall lip and this won't be just insert on top of the wood i want to make this just a little bit extra step uh, and uh, you'll see when we get to that point so what i want first is i'm going to drill a, a hole for the screw chuck here and i'll put one more uh, disc or spacer this can go right on make sure it's nice and tight so the first thing is uh, there is a little chip out here now this will be the back side of the of this stand uh, this um, uh, surface will be facing the wall now what i want here is um, mean of expanding the the chuck in uh, so i'll make this pretty as well it uh, doesn't matter that it, that it's facing the wall that's what makes i believe um nicely crafted stuff from mass produced stuff a little bit more difference let's say so i want to make a little bit more attention here on the back as well um now um in terms of how you uh, how i'm going to uh, put this on the wall uh, what i'll probably do is just drill a little hole put a metal plate across it and uh, that will catch the screw so that's the simplest way or you can use something else it doesn't really matter uh, the, the important thing is that it's nice and uh, convenient to put on the wall so to just screw this up i'll use a spindle gouge increase the speed so this is running at 1600 rpm so that's nice and true and i'll just true diameter as well little blood from somewhere there we go now the top I'm not concerned there's uh, plenty of thickness here to play with and uh, to make this slightly concave I'm using a scraper That feels nice and smooth. I'm using this little uh, smaller curve or flatter curve of the scraper. There we go. If you want to see how that looks with the scraper flat with properly shaped burr, you can see that's pristine surface uh, maybe a little bit rougher here but that will send out really really quickly now for the recess 
uh, the chuck outside diameter is roughly 100 mil. I'll just go slightly bigger than that. What I like to use to cut the, the recess is this square end scraper. This is 12 mil wide and uh, all I want is this section to be in the recess. This will be decorated so it doesn't look like a recess. And it doesn't need to be very deep. And skew just to make a little dovetail. There we go. And use a skew side bevel just to make a little decoration here. Now, all of this. Usually what you see in uh, YouTube videos are removed and uh, I don't like that. I like to make this as a feature of some sort. So let's make a little bead here. Like that. And on the other side. Okay, I'm okay with that, and uh, now still I want to make something here as well. Make this nice and clean. There we go, a little rougher here. There we go. And with the skew just a little v-groove here so that's you can see that's now first of all it's nicely cut clean and uh, we used all of this material when you have a ball like this this timber here can save you from having um, a funnel or it can save you from having a very thin uh, bottom so you can see that's cut from the tools extremely well clean so that will just need a little bit of sanding and I'll just put something else here as well uh, outside of the of the recess uh, yeah use the skew going straight in there we go and just make sure that I'm sitting on the outside surface which I am. Now it would be nice to to have this section removed a little bit so it looks like it's floating on the wall. So I'll just do that with a spindle gouge. I'll smooth this uh, with a shear scraper. There we go. Maybe a little bit more of the definition here. There we go. So somewhere in this band I'll put uh, that little hole to uh, connected on the wall and uh, you can see that's now ready for sanding all of this outside so I'll do that and then we can proceed uh, with the outside surface uh, 180 grit
get the dust out of the corners. There we go. So that's really nice surface. And I can go with the 240 grit. So that's the benefit of having a good tool finish. Grab a handful of shavings and just polish it up a little bit. Now just apply a little bit of oil. Bring the speed down so it doesn't spray everywhere. Uh, because I have all these grooves and it's much easier to get the oil in instead of the wax. But I'm still going to use the wax on top of this. Now what I'll probably do, and I'll show you this later, I'm going to polish this a little bit after it's all done. Get the nail in into these smaller grooves and for the bigger ones just place the rag in and that should be it. really nice just get it off the chuck so you can see a little bit better there we go so that's really nice looking back doesn't really matter that it's uh, towards the wall but I want to make it nice and and um, pretty let's say and now we can move to the front side now the jaws will expand into this little recess, which you actually don't notice that it's recess, so that's the whole point. And you don't need a lot of pressure here, and that it's running now, nice and true now. And I can use a scraper for that. dimension and that is uh, this outside plastic now it has these tabs here I'm not sure let me just focus the camera a little bit better there we go uh, so it has these tabs here but uh, I'll have to make another recess to account for this as well uh, because like I said I don't want to have this all of this brass um, color sticking out so I just want maybe up to here and then I'll have a bead of this so and I even consider that I'll maybe repaint this and but I can do that after if I don't like the color so this is the first measurement that we need the rest goes up a little bit and again square and scraper cut nice and straight in I'll raise the rest even further up so only thing that's cutting the wood is this top portion or contacting the wood there we 
go. So that's now I can test fit. It's still, I think, a little bit too shallow. And you can see the sides are nice and clean cut as well. Okay, so still a little too tight. Now, from here it's a little bit easier to use a skew bevel side. You see how it shaves nicely. Little tricks of the trade and you can take a really small amount and get a really nice surface as well so that's almost fitting over this plastic so a little bit more I want this on a slightly looser fit it's still that it's hold itself in nicely but uh, I want to have a little hole from the back where I can put a little needle or toothpick or anything to push it out. So but you don't want it too tight so you don't have the means of getting it out later. Okay, we're getting up to these tabs here, so just a little bit more and that should be it. Again, I'm using the bevel side here, see where the shavings are coming from, from the side. and it works beautifully. Okay, that's going halfway in. Maybe I'm even bottoming out. So I'll just go slightly deeper first. And actually not slightly deeper, I still have to make another recess here on the outside. So. It's a good time to measure the where I am in terms of depth. Oh, I still have a lot of wood here, so that's good. Okay, that will just barely go all the way in, so that's good. So that's 90 mil. Make sure you mark it nice and correct. Again, I'll use square and scraper. And I'll go just by the eye, roughly four mil for the start. Raise the rest up. Now, this is a little bit too shallow, but I want to test fit where I am. So I still have a lot of play here. And I still need to just slightly uh, remove this. So now it's a good time to measure how much of depth do I actually need. And yeah, I still have to go around four mil deeper in total. Okay. 
again skew this tiny recess is for the tabs those plastic ones these on the top and that no shoot okay that's really just enough of the fit and I still have to go slightly bigger on the outside so this is a good skill to, to practice to get this kind of a precision now I just grab a skew so I'll drop the handle down because of the angle on top this acts like a negative rig scraper and I can get away with it go straight in now this is now a finished depth here so just for the fun of it make the grooves as well okay I'm getting really close now so just a, a little bit more again I'll use bevel side just to trim it a little bit there we go so that's really good fit and I don't want to push it all the way in so I can't get it out uh, and this is right on the edge of not getting it out so there we go now before I finish this what I'll do is drill a hole here so I can push the, the mechanism out and uh, now hole uh, it cannot be in the very center because then you poke it right through here so just somewhere up on the sides like this so that's what I'll do next so this is the drill bit I used for the screw chuck hole and I just put it here in this there we go so first thing is drill another hole hole so I can again push it with the on the both sides there we go so like I said a little bead here um, and this side as well just a little bit okay I'm okay with that and maybe put a little flat line or flat up to here and now I can make sloping curve here uh, using again spindle gouge these are now just roughing cuts now as I've pulled here it's a little bit more pointy I kind of like maybe to try an OG shape here so just thinking about what I'm going to do do I want to have this flat here or maybe go down and have an exposed or raised bead so just try with the with the flat here make an OG and just reposition the camera so you can see how it develops hopefully you'll see now a little bit better now 
So these are just now roughing cuts. Just want to see how it all looks. Yeah, I think that will be okay. Kind of like that. Um, maybe something to put here, some sort of a decoration or not sure. Um, maybe a big bead here and lose the the OG. I'll try that. So that's one big bead. Have a little flat spot. Let's see how that looks. Still need a little bit of refinement, but just for the overall shape, I think I'll go for that. I like that. So just now refinement. Now this cold just needs a little bit of refinement, so I'm using the wing as a shear scraper. There we go. I need a spindle gauge with a long bevel. This is 10 mil spindle gauge. So I can tuck it into that corner. Put the oil just a little bit on the inside so it doesn't like uh, show through the different shade of oak. Hope that makes sense. So just a little bit on this inside lip. I won't apply the oil on the inside. And get the rag or corner in the rag into all of these corners details so there is no white um, shade and uh, apply the wax And like I said, I'll polish this up a little bit so it's a little bit more shinier. You'll see how in a few seconds. Okay, that looks really nice all of the nice crisp details and uh, um, that's what you get with a nice proper tool finish and then you don't need to sand all that much so that's i'm quite pleased with that now what i have here is uh, also i ordered this from steinert again i uh, didn't get this for free i paid uh, with a discount uh, this is chestnut uh, product uh, cloth 
my buffing wheel and uh, I applied a little bit of this Carnuba stick. Uh, there, there will be links down below uh, if you want to buy these. So. This will just give a little bit of more shine, not by much, but hope you can see the difference here and here. So I don't usually like very shiny stuff, but oak really pays off too. Just bring a little bit more shine. This gets the wax out of the corners as well ni quite nicely so just trying to make sure that I didn't miss any spots and that now looks really really nice hope you can see and this Carnuba wax it's quite durable on its own uh, but again this will be just on the wall so not much to it so uh, now just uh, put the insert in now what I want, I'll align the grain so it goes vertical and align the insert as well so it looks okay and squeeze it in. There we go. And uh, now that's uh, finished a thermometer stand or um, wall mounted stand let's say uh, so you can see again I might even put this slight more in uh, I can do that later if I wanted to but for now I'm just going to keep it as it is um, and might even paint it on some other color maybe even matte black so not sure yet I'm going to see uh, how I like this you can see works quite nice so hopefully you'll try this it has all of the nice techniques like what you use on a ball turning so it's a cross grain work so um, nice little build up of skills let's say